Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. In case you have epilepsy or anything like that, the screen might have some flashing images, so just keep that in mind if you don't want to look at the screen. I understand. Uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard, 2017, and uh, this is a film about a bodyguard who is a self-appointed AAA status, uh, and he loses his uh, high priority, you know, professional, uh, top level bodyguard uh, status when. Um, one of his clients is assassinated and he wrongly blames his ex-girlfriend for this so the two of them break up and uh, basically this ex-girlfriend calls upon him uh, for you know one last job before they never speak to each other again and it's to escort uh, this uh, uh, hitman with over 250 confirmed kills named Darius Kincaid played by Samuel L. Jackson and I should have mentioned the bodyguard is Ryan Reynolds of course and, um, yeah, so he's trying to escort this hitman to a courtroom so that he can testify against and provide evidence against this, uh, I assume he's Russian, wasn't 100% sure there, but I, his accent was pretty bad, so I couldn't really tell. Uh, so Gary Oldman's playing this cruel dictator who I assume is Russian, and, um, but his, yeah, his accent's really, really bad. Uh, so... And uh, the main thing with this is that they have, the two of them have history together, so the journey, other than being a simple escort mission, does turn out to be more complicated uh, than initially because they have history. And uh, yeah, also I, I, uh, uh, the reason Samuel Jackson is testifying against this Russian guy is because uh, he's accepting a deal uh, from Interpol which will pardon his wife uh, for her Crimes, which he claims she didn't do, but that was never really elaborated on in the film, so who knows whether that's true or not. But she's a very eccentric, uh, mad woman, for lack of better words, and yeah, so she won't have to go in prison. I am very sick right now, so I am trying my best to, uh, to give you a good video, but keep in mind, I am very sick. And um, I can feel a cough coming, it's not on purpose to show you that I'm sick, it's just naturally coming. <coughs> okay, so Hitman's Bodyguard, do I recommend it? Absolutely. It's very funny, has above average action. You actually have uh, blood leaving people's bodies, which is actually a very nice thing um, in this because it adds more impact and shock value to the action itself. Uh, so it's an R-rated film with Samuel L. Jackson saying his catchphrase uh, every like 10 seconds and it never wears off. That's actually the funny part. It never wears off Samuel L. Jackson saying, motherfucker. It's gold every time he says it. And while I like the entire cast, Sam L. Jackson really is the number one star here who carries the film. And uh, it's almost like, it's not, like Samuel L. Jackson's career today is more than alive still. But this to me feels like one last um, outing from classic Sam, basically. But uh, there is a sequel to this which I haven't seen, so we'll probably get more of that. But this felt like a very traditional old fashioned Samuel Jackson and it's very natural and feels appropriate still. Not to mention that he doesn't look old in this at all, uh, so it, it might as well be Pulp Fiction Samuel Jackson is what I'm saying. So yeah, but uh, the film is great. As for negatives, uh, I felt the obsession with love uh, being a sort of a primary plot point a little bit, uh, you know, unneeded. I didn't, I loved the, honest. I loved the Samuel Jackson and his wife they are great, um, but I didn't need the Ryan Reynolds and his ex-girlfriend love plot to be so fo such a focal point. Like it's almost like more important than destroying the, you know, imprisoning the Russian uh, evil dictator. It's it, the D evil dictator. Honestly, Gary Oldman's not even in the film that much, so he's almost like secondary here. The primary point is for them to get back together, and I honestly felt like Ryan Reynolds and whoever that other person was, had very little uh, chemistry together. So it wasn't really working for me. So the love stuff, specifically the love stuff between Ryan Reynolds and his ex-girlfriend, wasn't really working in this, so I didn't need that. Gary Oldman, as I said, his accent is atrocious. Um, and uh, also his, uh, he's just not really in the film that much, not very developed. He may as well just be a generic bad guy, which is exactly what he is. And also I want to mention that the film... It's actually under two hours, which surprised me. I immediately looked up the runtime after watching this because this thing felt like two and a half. Um, but it's actually under two hours, so that does tell me that it is a little bit, maybe not paced the best. 
but at the same, like, my first reaction was, yeah, it was paced pretty well because it is very fast paced. But by the end of it, if I thought it was two and a half hours and it actually was under two hours, that's a red flag. So I did want to mention that the film does feel very long. Um, it is a very simple escort mission, so it probably didn't even need to be two hours at that point. We probably could have wrapped this up in an hour and a half. Um, there's definitely plenty of stuff you could cut out here. So, yeah, but overall the film is very funny, great action, love that it's R-rated, and Samuel L. Jackson in particular is killing it. So I'm going to give The Hitman's Bodyguard an 8 out of 10. Last thing I want to mention in this review is that I do feel this movie was borrowing elements from Deadpool and Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, and I think both of those movies are better than this one. So if you, I assume you have seen those two, but if you haven't, go watch those two before this one. Guardians of the Galaxy, I think it took two or more, um, two, it picked two or more of the same um, musical choices, so it was hard for me to appreciate them because I've already, you know, I've already had these epic movie scenes from a better movie in the past, only three years ago, or when this one came out. Uh, and the Deadpool stuff is much more obvious. It's just, you know, Ryan Reynolds doing his whole Deadpool R-rated thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, but still, very good one. Highly recommend it. Looking forward to the sequel, which I'm going to watch probably tomorrow. Or we might watch uh, the Jack Reacher uh, reboot, uh, like the series. So, I don't know. It's either going to be Jack Reacher or it's going to be the sequel. We'll just see when we get there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you.